Guys, the day has come. We are finally getting those much needed modifications. Bam, check it out. Finally came in, had some issues with the shipping, but it's here. Today we're gonna to be installing the uh, Ford Raptor grill as well as the letters, because if not, it just says like D-O-D-D, -D, and we don't want that. So let's get right into it. Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Uh, I apologize again if the light is flickering. Um, I'm not sure what order this video is gonna go up. I've got this one and another one, and in the other install that I did, uh, the light was kind of flickering. So if that's the case, you can kind of see it on my face right now, and this lighting makes me look really bad. But that's besides the point. So today, guys, we're gonna get into uh, my most uh, uh, amped up, amped up, uh, anticipated install of this whole uh, build so far. And that is, if you guys saw from the intro, we are doing, oh, there, there it is. We are doing the Ford Raptor grill uh, conversion on the EcoBoost. I know, I know if you're on Instagram, if you see other trucks around, um, the, the Ford Raptor grill is becoming not only extremely popular, but uh, you could almost, you could argue that it's kind of being overdone, but I've wanted to do this since I got my truck, since I found out that the Raptor was coming out, since I found out all of these different things, and the fact you could buy the grill uh, by itself. So I knew that I wanted to get it. I got, I struck a deal. So believe it or not, I actually bought it on Amazon. It is the uh, the Barricade Grill, I believe. Um, I bought again. I bought it on Amazon. I couldn't tell you the exact link it was. I don't quite remember. But the one I bought actually came with the uh, the F and the R letters. I will show you guys whenever. Oh, oh the F and R letters. Uh, whenever I actually do the install. Uh, so whenever I bought the grill, I didn't know it came with letters, and so I bought the letters separately. So. Um, yeah, don't do that. Do your research next time. Don't be like me. But yeah, without any of that being said, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all of the pins and everything you need to remove and the entire removal process as well as the install process of this grill. So let's get it going. Alrighty, guys, go ahead and get in, into this. Uh, we've got a lot of clips to remove. And so we're gonna start off with removing the clips all throughout here. And by removing this top plastic panel, uh, we'll actually show all of the bolts that hold in, of course, the top of the grill, as well as the wiring that goes directly to the uh, the front hood, uh, the front grill vents, excuse me. And then by taking off this clip, uh, of course, on this plastic panel and the one on the, the driver's side, it will remove and show, will ultimately show the two bolts that hold in, one on each side, the bottom of the grill. So I will go ahead and do, th do that for you guys so you can go ahead and skip right along. Alrighty, boys. So we got this off. Oh, man, the zoom is still throwing me off. But we got the grill off. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to remove, remove the grill vents from your grill. And that is, you actually, I already took one out, but you have to take off these, uh, I, like they're like pull pins. They're similar to push pins, except you literally just, I just got a pair of pliers, pulled it right out. That's obviously how that one came out. As well as we also have uh, some bolts on the back, if you see right there, we've got that one right there, as well as some some going around as well. And then let me show you, you've got some kind of weird connectors on the bottom. So right there, 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 and of course that will be it. We can remove that. We'll uh, attach it to the grill over there. And once I get that all done, I'll show you guys. All right guys, so as you see, the grill has been installed. Uh, disregard the uh, no headlight. It's actually a really cool air intake. Come on, actually truck goes faster, just kidding. So um, by removing that headlight, I made things a lot more difficult, but I'll briefly explain, and then I'll show you guys everything in the daylight uh, tomorrow. But the grill is completely put back together, uh, minus uh, the headlight, of course, and the, uh, the radiator cover, the front engine cover, whichever you would like to call it. But the grill comes with this auto, with this wiring, which is really easy plug and play directly to the light, of course, or directly to the grill, of course, excuse me. And then I removed, of, of course, the uh, previous letters to put on the F and the R, and then plugged up the three connectors to the grill, which runs directly over. And here's the wire. And I, what I did is uh, connected it to the marker light. This is the marker light, whether you have the Anzo headlights like I have, or you have a stock headlights, this is uh, the smallest connection, the smallest connector, and it is, again, the marker light. And the one that I spliced to, so hopefully it focuses, is the yellow and brown wire. 
as you see, I just did a, uh, what looks to be really complicated, but is actually really simple, uh, T splice connector. I'm not entirely sure. This is my first time wiring anything together, and you'll see in just a second. So that is the, the positive cable, uh, the positive wire, and I ran the negative right over here. It's uh, exposed at the moment. I'll get that all hooked up, and I'll show you guys tomorrow. But once again, once I put, uh, everything has been completely connected, Everything is all good. The wires, all I have to do is put in the headlight and show you guys the rest of it tomorrow. But check it out. Everything lights up. Let's check out everything in the daylight. That is right. Out with the old and in with I can't point to it. Out with the old and in with the new. We've got that new grill attached. That was one of the first truck parts that I wanted for my truck, besides for, of course, like wheels and stuff. In the first video, my uh, most viewed video on my channel, which was my overall uh, EcoBoost review of my truck, I mentioned that I wanted the grill and I finally got it. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, the biggest thing that I wanted to do with this video was make sure that I was really uh, explanatory. I wanted to make sure I was showing you guys exactly how to do this stuff because there's there's no instructions that came with this. I had to watch other videos and there were some guys that have shown the install of this before, but it wasn't the most in-depth. And so I kind of pieced everything that they showed uh, myself and everyone else and then added uh, what I thought to be a little bit simpler and I'm hope hopefully making this as short of a video as possible while making it the most explanatory as possible. I feel like I apologize in a lot of my videos and that's because I kind of do because my schedule of uploading is very inconsistent. Uh, I, I promise to get better at it this summer but don't hold me to it. Uh, I still have a lot of stuff planned for this truck believe it or not. Uh, we've only scratched the surface. This is just some some of the biggest interior interior some of the biggest uh, exterior mods. Uh, some things I still want to do is like tail lights. There's a there's a piece that, another piece that I would like to add which helps the uh, the Fraptor, fake Raptor look. Um, I would like to get some new fog lights. I need some new LED, LED bulbs. There's a lot of things that I'd like to get done. But anyway, guys, if this is your first time stopping in the channel, make sure that you uh, hit that subscribe button. I've seen a lot of subscribers here recently, so make sure that you uh, join on the bandwagon because I've got a lot of stuff in store. Uh, I'm so amped. I love this grill. I love it. So um, stick around for more content. Be sure to follow my Instagram, at egoboost 73 I post a ton of pictures. I try to make it the most high quality uh, 13th generation F-150 pictures on Instagram, but that's just me, I'm a little biased. But anyway guys, like I said, if this is your first time stopping in, be sure to subscribe, uh, be sure to like, follow me on Instagram, do all of those things like I previously said. Uh, take care and have a great day.